Hello everyone, it's Carrie, and in today's video I'll be working on a Cleo Denial doll and making her into Amy Lee from the band Evanescence. This one was for a commission for a customer who wanted the look from the lithium video. I'll start out making the corset and blouse and then I'll move into the face up. So for the corset I started using a piece of vinyl in white and I made it as the base for the corset and then I added some sheer fabric over top of it. So like I said, I added a snap in the back and then I added some sheer fabric over top of it. The boning looks like um, actual boning because I used some, I, before I added the sheer fabric, I glued down some heavy twine or like s sort of a uh, waxy rope kind of twine that was kind of thick so you could see that through the sheer fabric. And then I just added some metal work down the front. So in the video she's wearing sort of an off the shoulder sheer top underneath the corset and that's what I'm working on now. So I've had a couple of people ask for patterns. As you can see I don't really use patterns very often. Some The ones that I do use are very basic and they're not set up so I could sell them uh, comfortably. Um, I don't know how to write patterns or draw patterns uh, to where they would be able to be read. There's a, they're pretty technical and I, I don't have that a level of experience. So I'm sorry I don't sell my patterns, but on my Patreon page I do, if I do have any patterns, I tend to share those with the patrons. When I work with synthetic fiber, I'll use my lighter to singe the edges so it makes it kind of melts it so it won't fray as easily especially working with small pieces it's good to have it uh, have the edges melted so it will hold the thread better without kind of ripping the fabric For the hems of the blouse, I used some uh, heat transfer tape, so it's kind of like a um, it's kind of like a tape that that melts when you apply heat. So instead of using thread to hem those tiny edges, I'll just use that tape. So this is the base of the skirt. I used the same hem tape for the, the hems and added a snap to the back. And that's just where I started the skirt and, and added the sheer fabric to the bottom and sort of draped it and tied it up in little knots to reflect the look of the character. So onto the face up. Like I said, I'm using a Clio Denial. And I'm using several pictures of Amy Lee as reference. So I'm using a mix of a peach tint color and white to shade her face a little bit lighter than the, the dolls. For her body I used an Ever After High, I think it was like an apple white so it's much paler than this face. So I, uh, the reason that I'm doing this, the, the face shape was really closer to Amy Lee's than the Ever After High doll. And then because of the shape of the figure and the corset, I wanted to use the Ever After High uh, silhouette. So it just worked together. Uh, Cleo's face was a little uh, darker than Amy Lee's. So I'm 
lighting, t taking that back a bit and adding highlights. It does look like it's quite heavy as far as the white and peach at this point, but once you add the Mr. Super Clear, it does kind of uh, fade what you've added as far as pastel. So I have to add a couple of layers to get the tone I want. So if you're looking for some step-by-step face-up instructions for beginners, check out my classes on Skillshare. They're uh, work at your own pace courses set up in easy to follow lessons and there's a link in the description box below for two free months of Skillshare with no obligation. So check that out if you're interested in uh, easy to follow step-by-step -step instructions for beginner face-up artists. Also if you're looking for extra close-up video tutorials, game-changing tips, learning modules on being a full-time artist, or other rewards like some of my art mail to you monthly, check out my Patreon in the description box below. There's a few, several different tiers of things that I offer. So when I'm working on eyes, rather than follow the line of the sculpt of the base doll, meaning how it's molded, I don't follow the lines of what's on the doll. Rather, I'll look at a reference photo and kind of follow the lines there and kind of go outside of what's, um, of what's on the base doll to accomplish the look of the character I'm working on. On my Patreon, uh, in my library of rewards, there's a tutorial there on how to draw the eyes differently than the face mold. There's like a close-up clip of that. Here I'm doing some delicate shading in the very tiny areas like the philtrum and below the lips and above the eye.
Here I'm giving her a smoky eye like the character's makeup in the video. I'm using Pan Pastels in a uh, in the shimmer black or the pearl black, I think it's called. I'm working with very little product at a time. the eyebrows I usually start with a base of pastel and then shape it with an eraser and then go back in and add the lines. By the way the supplies that I use are in the description box below along with an Amazon affiliate link to my shop, my Amazon storefront where you can uh, see the supplies I use along with a small description of what I use the supplies for. And if you purchase anything from that link, I get a small commission. So I'm using some Derwent Metallic in a greenish color for her eyes. So after this, I'll add some highlights to her eyes and lashes. So stay tuned for more full process videos and videos from my new series, The Working Doll Artist Series, where I share some tips and advice based on my experience as a full-time doll artist. And I hope you liked this video. If you did, I'd love it if you gave it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye!